What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Money is saying you ain't know the vibes. You feel me? We back with another Hassan Campbell video. Um, my son Hassan is talking about two NYPD officers that got hit in the line of duty by illegals. So we about to react to that before I press play on this video. Though, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you heard put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, turn on your post notifications so y'all can get notified every time I drop one of these reactions. So. Yeah, we about to look. We about to see what's going on with that. See what Hassan got to say about this. Um, I haven't heard this on the news probably because I missed it. But um, yeah, we about to see what's good. Yeah, shall we begin? Shall we begin? Let me start this video off by saying. Shout out to the NYPD for doing your best job to make it safe outside. Now, with that being said, it's safe to say it ain't safe outside. You got these same border jumpers, illegal, coming over the border and robbing our women on mopads. You got these border jumpers coming over in our communities. And it's like... The mayor asked us to bring these people in our house. These are the same people that the mayor asked us to bring in our house. And right, Sandra, what you mentioned about that crackdown, you know, what happened here last night overnight was a direct result of that crackdown. The officer spotted a young man on an e-bike driving in the wrong lane, driving the wrong way. They decided to pull him over and they found themselves in a gunfight with a 19 year old man wanted for robbery. What? In the middle of 23rd Avenue spent shell casings a semi-automatic pistol so bro like if you know you want it why would you do anything like first of all if you know you want to why are you driving you know what i'm saying like bro you could get pulled over for any little thing money that's stupid right there and an e-bike the 19 year old robbery suspect was taken into police custody with a bullet wound in his foot Man. The two officers survived. 26-year-old Christopher Abreu struck in the leg, wheeled from the emergency room barely six hours later by his partner, Richard Yoruso, also 26, saved from a bullet wound in his abdomen by his body armor. They gave him room and bullet? This 19-year-old boy, only been in the country for a hot second, living in a homeless shelter, and the first thing he did when he got in the country is got himself a gun and went shopping in the hood. The ski mask way. And the mayor rolled out the red carpet for him. The, the mayor rolled out the red carpet so much where he asked us to actually take these people in our house when even the police ain't safe from them. But our officers responded with a level of discipline, a level of focus, a level of professionalism. And today we thank God. It happened at 1.40 this morning in East Elmhurst. The officers were wounded after chasing down the suspect. After he ditched the bike and took off on foot, investigators say he turned and fired on them. The officers began a foot pursuit, which led for several blocks. During the pursuit, the suspect fired multiple rounds at our officers, who then returned fire. Damn. Police officials said rounds? the suspect's last known address was a nearby motel, serving as a shelter for migrants. Identified as 19-year-old Bernardo Raul Castro Mata, a recent immigrant from Venezuela. Few seem to know him, telling reporters that he had not lived there in several weeks. What do we this? Like, Salute to the police I'm officers. Just, bro, like, y'all, for first of all, the whole point is to, come, is to come over here to do better for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. You feel me? But I'm pretty sure you probably in a little better predicament than you was was once was. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there's a lot of people that come to um, you know, come out here in New York and they they start owning shit and building businesses and you know you gotta start somewhere. I understand that, but like, I, yo, I be seeing women women on the highway. They be sometimes they be having their babies with them. Selling fruits and vegetables and shit. You feel me? Like I, I like, even if I'm not going buy, like I still, you know what I'm saying? Donate to the cause. You feel me? Like, so like, bro, like, come on, man. And then you want it, and you driving, bro. Like, 
Yo, you got to chill. For doing a good job out there, keeping the community safe. But I got one question for these officers. This illegal border jumper, he's already in the red zone from jumping over the border and coming into the country illegal. Then the first thing he does, he go get a gun and he goes shopping in the hood, right? So he was already being sought for robberies. But then you shoot two police officers. Do -do -do. Two police officers, one in the stomach, one in the leg, right? And y'all shoot him in the foot? Take the what? Leave the what? Y'all shot, shot him in the foot? Scooters and bikes are being used citywide to commit crimes. These crimes include shootings, robberies, and phone snatches. Yo! Damn! NYPD detectives oh, believe Castro nah, Buck my... is the young man in blue, pictured here with two other suspects, wanted for stealing purses from women in Queens a month ago. We have over 80 robbery That's patterns crazy. citywide involving incidents where the perpetrators are. Are you snatching purses? Like, come on, are you serious? Are riding motorized scooters or motorcycles. That's over 80 robbery patterns alone, encompassing over hundreds and hundreds of incidents. And those numbers are staggering. Robberies by thieves on motorcycles and e-bikes are up 400% over last year. As for the suspect in this case, I'm told he remains hospitalized. Charges against him have yet to be announced. Much more on the numbers and this surprising modus operandi coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock tonight. We're now live in Queens. and Jay Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News. That's the what? Lift the what? Yeah, that's yeah, right. shot, shot him in the foot. Hmm? When did the police start shooting new suspects in the foot? He got a leg shot? You mean to tell me this dude shot two police officers, was on the run for a string of robberies, jumped over the border, and y'all didn't turn his TV off? These officers didn't rock his snack box? I'm mad the music stopped as soon as he said y'all didn't turn his TV off, though. <laughs> I'm curious. Now, nah, that's crazy. Because like, when it comes to hey, a bro, like, police, like, yo, these dudes is living, is, is thinking this is GTA outside in New York, bro. Like, it's not GTA. Like, you just, you think you just going to get on a moped and just hop off and and and, and, and beat up an old lady for a purse and hop back on. Everything going to be sweet. Like, yo, these kids, bro, it's these crazy. Nice has kids all orders to shoot the kill when it's one of us. When it's one of us. But this dude comes over here and reigns terror in the black community and hey, y'all shoot him in the foot i'm just wondering if y'all got word from the higher up not to harm these illegals why is these border jumpers i mean mm -mm. these illegals like that's coming in our community robbing stealing and even killing it, yo is this the second or the third or the fourth one that just shot at police coming in this country? Inquiring minds want to know. Mr. Mayor. It's safe to say it ain't safe outside. And I'm telling you people right now, right? If the kids ain't safe, the nine-year-old and 11-year-old got shot in Brooklyn. If the police ain't safe, get your kids out of the hood while you can. Yeah, that's crazy. That nine and 11-year-old getting shot is wild. Get your kids out of the hood because the reality of it is it's safe to say it ain't safe outside. And where we live is where these people was being dumped. I just got, I, I, I'm just, I just can't understand. I, I can't understand for the life of me why the police didn't rock these snapbox and turn their TV off and hit them in the head, hit them in the head, hit them in the head, hit them in the head with a headshot. Yeah, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Pay attention to hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I was fake, I was fake digging the music going in and out like that. <laughs> I, I kind of like that edit, yo. Yeah, that's crazy though. My, like, he, he think he and GTA for real, bro. Like, you just, I don't know, bro. We got to get... I don't know, bro. But um, y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't subscribed to the channel before y'all head out, subscribe to my channel. You heard? Put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Turn on your post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the comment section.